Hello everyone, ARG back with some more Out of the Park Baseball 25 and the crazy, crazy, crazy <coughs> scheduling that was 1969, uh, at least for the Montreal Expos. It was, uh, you know, week after week, we have like seven straight games, no days off, we have tired pitchers, we have tired position players. Uh, <clears throat> and we have a ARG that's tired after every series because doing four games in one stream is a little, is a, quite a bit for me. But anyway, <clears throat> I have a lot. I have, by the way, I have mad respect for people that like stream for eight hours straight. I, I can't do that. It's it takes too much out of me. Right, so uh, today we are going to be playing the Phillies. They are literally just as bad as we are. Uh, they are the, the same amount of games behind, 11 games and a half, just like we are. Uh, we are 32 and 42, they are 31 and 41, so they played two less games. So I guess they had two days off that we didn't have. Lucky them. All right, so four game series, it's uh, going into the weekend, so we know what happens is that I'm gonna have three starters playing at full uh, energy. And then on the second game on Sunday, my pitcher is gonna be tired. And then after that, everybody's gonna be pitching on four days rest for a little bit and gonna be tired some more. So that's been pretty much the story of our life. Our GM is completely inactive, not doing anything to help. So we are left to ourselves. At least we have that, we have ourselves. Let me go ahead and do this here real quick before we get started. Gotta get all my things going properly. All right, so uh, first things first, I did not check to see if the Phillies have injuries. And they do not, so they are like us, they are pretty healthy. All right, so for the first game of this series, we are going to be facing off against Chris Short, which is a lefty. We're going to be sending Mike Wigner on the mound. Now, sadly, Wigner doesn't have a whole lot of stamina, so even if he's full, fully rested, he's probably not lasting much more than six innings. Do I have a few rested relievers? Oh, yeah. Everybody can go, even Robertson. Now, I'm going to try to not use Robertson, but everybody can go other than that. That's beautiful. All right. <clears throat> and I need to try as much as possible to uh, have pre as close as possible everybody rested for Sunday because we're playing two games. All right, let's get going. <clears throat> All right, looks like the Phillies have the uh, upper round in uh, most of uh, every matchup here. So I'm at the point where we're playing every day and not getting a, a day off. So whenever I have the chance to have the full lineup, I'm just going to go and have the full lineup and I'm just going to change players when they're tired or whenever Gerald Nullet wants to see uh, Ron Brown playing somewhere because it looks like he has a little bit of a fascination about that. All right, so the Phillies are going to go with Tony Taylor at third base leading off today. Johnny Briggs in left field is going to be batting second. Dick Allen at first base is going to be batting third. Batting cleanup today is Mike Anderson in center field. Johnny Callison, the right fielder, is going to be batting fifth. Don Money, the shortstop, is going to be batting sixth. Cookie Rojas, the second baseman, is going to be batting seventh. Mike Ryan, the catcher, batting eighth. And Chris Short batting ninth today. All right, we are at home, by the way. At beautiful, beautiful Park Javi. And let's get going. All right, and the game's underway with Tony Taylor leading off for the Phillies. Let's play some baseball. One and one to count as we tour the generic park. This is not really Park Javi, I don't think. Sorry, I'm gonna move my cursor. We don't need it on the screen. All right, and that's it to right where Stubb is, and he catches it easily for out number one. All right, so a good uh, little start here. Johnny Briggs is the next batter. Three and zero to count, and he walks on four pitches. Not uh, what we want to see, obviously. 
The cannon is next. Runner on first and one out. No count to him. The runner goes. Oh, and he's going to be out. Good throw by John Bateman to nail the runner. And now there's two outs for Allen. Three and on the count. And he walks on four pitchers as well. Why do something only once when you can make it to do it twice and create an habit? All right, Mike Anderson with a runner on first and two outs. Full count. And he walks. All right, three walks in the inning for Wigner. And uh, here I am trying to save my relievers. All right, Johnny Callison is next. Two on, two outs. Full count. And he walks. Four walks in the first inning. And miraculously, no run scored yet. Don Money is next. 0 oh, and 1. And a ball. One nothing Philadelphia. I'd be curious to see how often this happened in history where a pitcher loaded the bases with three consecutive walks and then got a balk. I'd, I'd be curious to see how often that happened. Two runners in scoring position, two outs. A one and one, two money. And that's it to center for a base hit. That's going to score at least one, probably two. And it does. And it is 3-0 for the Phillies. So not going very well for me trying to save my relievers. And yeah, that's. Uh, it looks like it's going to be an early hook for Wigner. I'm going to run it, run him as long as I can, and then I'm going to bring in uh, Awi Reed probably for as many innings as he's going to give me. Sadly, that means that Reed isn't going to be available for the rest. Oh well. Alright, runner on first, two outs for Kuki Ross. 2 and 0. And he pops it, foul, and Bailey is there, and that's finally out number three. Phillies get three on the board in the first inning. Going to the bottom of the first here in Montreal, it is 3-0 Phillies. I almost said Flyers. Yeah, you can say my hockey guy. All right, Murray Wills leading off here for the Expos. One and one to count. That's it to center. Oh, that's cut by Anderson there with a nice uh, diving catch. And there's one out. Manny Mota is next. No count. And that's it. Uh, liner third. It's got by Taylor for out number two. Right, and now Rusty Stub. Two and two. And that's it to left for a base hit. So opposite field single with two outs for Rusty Stub. Puts the Expos with a runner on the base pads. And Don Clendenen is next. No count. The runner goes, and Stubb is going to have a stolen base. His fourth of the season. One and two to count to Clendon and now with a runner in scoring position. And that's it to right for a base hit. Is Stubb going? I hope he is. And he is, and it is 3-1. All right, so we, we reduce the lead here. Thanks to a Clendon and base hit to right. Bob Bailey is next. No count. That's it to center. It looks like it's going to be cut there by Anderson. And it is for out number three. The Expos get one run back. We're down two now, going into the top of the second. Mike Ryan leading up for the Phillies. Three and one to count. That's it to center. That's cut there by Klein for out number one. Chris Short now. 0 and 2. And he struck out swinging. Alright, so Wiener with his first strikeout today. Tony Taylor now. 0 and 2. And he struck out swinging. Back to back strikeouts in the inning. And we're going to into the bottom of the second with John Bateman leading off for the Expos. 1 and 2 to count. And Bateman strikes out swinging. Floyd Wicker is next, one and two. And you struck out looking, that's back-to-back -back strikeouts. Ty Klein now with two outs, three and one. 
That's Pup Foul Weekly towards third base. Taylor is there. That's going to be out number three. Nothing for the Expos in inning number two. Top of the third incoming. We're going to have Johnny Briggs leading off. One and one to count. That's at the center. That's cut there by Klein for out number one. The cannon now, one and two the count. And he struck out looking. Mike Anderson with two outs, one and one. Grounds it to second. Mota with the throw, that's gonna be out number three. The Phillies go down in order for the second inning in a row. Bottom of the third incoming. We're gonna have Mike Winger leading off. It's never ideal to have your pitcher lead off an inning. That's why, that's why typically, now it's not always true, but typically National League manager would uh, try, I mean back in the day now it doesn't matter because the pitcher doesn't bat anymore, but like the eighth hitter was usually not your worst hitter, usually your worst hitter other than the pitcher was the seventh hitter because you wanted for the eighth spot guy to be able to get on base. Uh, so that you don't lead the inning with your pitcher like I'm about to do here. Two and over the count. So if you're wondering why I keep Klein batting eight instead of Wicker, for example, or Bateman, that would be why. All right, Maury Wills is the next batter with one out as Wigner grounded out. Uh, for the first out, one into the count to Wills, and he struck out looking. Two quick outs. Now that brings up Mota to the plate. No count to him. And he grounds it to the pitcher, and he's thrown out easily. The Expos also go down in order for the second inning in a row, top of the fourth incoming. We're still down two here in Montreal, with Johnny Callison leading off the top of the fourth. Full count. And he walks. Not a great showing for Wigner so far. Don Money is next one around first, nobody out. No count. That's it to right. Should be no problem for Stubb, and it isn't, and that's out number one. Kuki Roas is the next batter, runner on first, one out. Oh, the runner goes, and Bateman with his second cut steal of the game. So all of a sudden, two outs for the Phillies, nobody on. Full count to Roas. And he walks, sixth walk allowed by Wigner, that's a little too many. Alright, so Ryan now, full count. And he walks. Seven walks allowed by Wigner. That's beautiful. Right, Chris Short now with two, uh, two outs, two runners on. Are we going to walk the pitcher as well? No, we're not. One and two. Grounds it to second. Mota with the throw. That's going to be out number three. Bottom of the fourth and coming. Maybe we could get a few walks of our own. That'd be nice. Right, Rusty Stubb leading off, one and one. And that's a base hit to right. Just past the glove of Dick Allen at first. And we have the leadoff runner aboard, or the leadoff, leadoff batter aboard, I should say. Don Clinton and his next runner on first and nobody out. Oh and one. And that's it to left for a base hit. All right. Falls in front of Briggs, and now there's two on and nobody out. Now we have a shot at doing something. We just need for Bob Bailey to shake out of his cold streak here. Two on, nobody out. Oh, and to the count. Doesn't look too good. And he struck out swinging. That's out number one. John Bateman just recently was on a hot streak. I could use a base it from him here again. Oh, and one. And that's a base it to right, and that's gonna be extra bases all the way to the fence. Right, so ba Bateman rounds first, he's going to second, and that's two runs scored on the double by Bateman, and we have a tight game, it is 3-3. Three, three. So yeah, you're looking at the, the 
at the box score right now or the sorry the scoreboard and you're like man winger allowed one hit yeah he allowed seven walks too all right so wicker with a runner in scoring position and one out now one and one the count oh that's a bad pitch and bateman makes it easily to third base on the play so three three runner on third two and one to wicker and he hits it to center and whoa <laughs> that's all the way to the fence oh that's a ground rule double yeah they don't have a great animation for that i was like why is the center fielder not moving anymore that's why ground rule double and we take the lead who taught that when wigner walked three batters in a row in inning number one and then at a bulk we are up four three now ty klein runner in scoring position one out three and one and he walks All right, so two on, one out for Mike Wigner. Now, sadly, that's the pitcher. Not exactly the guy you want in that position. I think he's probably going to bunt. No, he's swinging. And uh, that's flight out to Anderson in center field, and he's out. So now we need a timely base hit from Maury Wills if we want to uh, increase our lead. No count. That's it to left. Looks like Briggs is going to be there near the track. He is. Catches it for out number three. The Expos, however, score three. And they now have a one-run lead. It is 4-3 for the Expos. Top of the fifth incoming. We're going to see Tony Taylor first. No count. And that's it. A liner to first. Bailey is there. That's going to be out number one. Johnny Briggs is next. Full count and he walks eight walk allowed by wiener dick allen is next two and two. Oh, we struck out looking beautiful that's his second strikeout of the game so wiener has unstruck out many but he struck out dick allen twice i'll take that that's for sure mike anderson now runner on first and two outs no count that's it to right. Stubb is there. And he catches it for out number three. Bottom of the fifth incoming at Parc Jury. It is 4 3 for the Expos. Manny Mota is going to lead off that inning uh, against Chris Short. Still in the game. 2 and 1 the count. Rounds it to Short. And that's a good throw for out number one. Rusty Stubb is next. One and one. Oh, that's it really well in the alley and right all the way to the fence. That's at least a double. Looks like a triple. And Rusty Stub gets a one out triple. And he's very, very close to scoring around. Now we need for Clendenon to do something other than a strikeout or a very hard ground ball, and that should score the run. One and two. Or that, a little pop foul to first base. Dick Allen is there. That's going to be out number two. So now we need a base hit from the guy that's on a cold streak. Bob Bailey needs to shake it off. Now. One and one. That's it to center. Pretty sure that's gonna be cut by Anderson. It is. That's out number three. Expose failed to capitalize on a rusty stub triple. Going into the top of the sixth. Still up by a meager run. John Carlson is next. Two and one to count. Runs it to first. Bailey catches it for out number one. Don Money is next. Two and two. Rounds it to first. And that's going to be out number two. All right, Cookie Rojas now. Two and two to count. Grounds it to first as well. Wow, okay. I guess uh, Bob Bailey could have played all by himself in this inning. And it is out number three. 
All right, bottom of the sixth, John Bateman leads off. Three and one. And that's it foul, and that's out number one. Floyd Wicker is next. Yeah, the ground rule double last time out, one and out. Rounds it to first, Dick, oh, Dick Allen boots it. So Wicker is safe on a, an error at first base. And now Ty Klein is gonna be the next batter. One and oh. And that's it to left, and that's gonna be extra bases all the way to the fence. All right, a double for Klein. And now we have two runners in scoring position and one out, sadly. Wigner is the next batter, and I'm keeping him in the game. He's, he's able to go one more inning. 0-1. Oh, and, and that's a base hit to center. Whoa, ho, ho. Do not uh, take the pitcher for an easy out. And it is 5-3 as Wicker comes in to score. So that error by Allen is uh, proving to be a little costly here. Now we have a two-run lead. Runners on first and third. Maury Wills is the next batter. Two and two. Grounds it to short. Money with the throw home. Oh, they got Klein out. All right. That, uh, that was a gutsy play there by Don Money. Uh, paid off. Now two on two outs for Manny Mota. One and one. Grounds it to second. And he's thrown at first for out number three. The Expos had one more run to their lead. It is 5-3 going into the top of the seventh, and Wigner should be able to pitch this inning, I hope. Mike Ryan, the next batter, no count. That's it to right. Stubb is there, catches it for out number one. Love that. You love. I love an out on, a, on one pitch. Love that. Uh, Darren Johnson comes in as a pinch hitter for the pitcher. One and one. It's it to center. Klein is there with his superior defense, and that's going to be out number two. Tony Taylor is next with two outs, two and two. Oh, he got hit by the ball. What was it? A 79 miles per hour fastball. Man, that's slow. All right, uh, Johnny Briggs is the next battle runner on first. Two outs, one and two. Grounds it to first, Bailey takes it, and that's out number three. That was the last inning for Wigner. We're going to bring some relief in the next inning. All right, so Grant Jackson comes in uh, in relief for the Phillies. He's going to be facing off against Rusty Stubb, who is three for three today. And that was against a lefty, so yeah. Two and one the count for Le Grand Orange. Runs it to second. And Stubb is out for the first time in this game. All right, Don Clendon now. One and oh. Oh, that's it really well in the alley and right. Oh, yeah. And that's a double for Clendenon. I have to shut up because I, I never know if it's going to be a, a double or a triple because you can't see the runner. All right, so runner in scoring position, one out for Bob Bailey. Two and two. And that's it. Oh, all the way to defense and center left. That's going to be a an RBI. Bob Bailey stops at second base with a double. It is now 6-3 for the Expos. Bob Bailey says, take that cold streak. Nobody's on a cold streak anymore. That's beautiful. John Bateman is the batter runner in scoring position. One out, two and two. Oh, he struck out swinging. And we're going to keep Floyd Wicker in the game. Uh, he's one for three, an RBI. He was safe on an error last, uh, last inning. Two and one the count. And that's a base hit to right. Is that going to score the run? It is a 7-3 to score now, and Wicker makes it to second base on the play. 
7-3 lead for the Expos. Ty Klein is the next batter. 1-2. and two. Oh, he struck out. Okay, he doesn't strike out very often. Klein has uh, grown on me a lot during this uh, season. I've come to appreciate him a lot. Probably more than his manager did in real life. All right, Winger needs to be pulled. Let's see, we have Allen, Anderson, Caddison coming. I'm gonna bring Gary just at it first. And uh don't want to go. Yeah, I think I will. So stopper closers were not really closers back in those days. They were stoppers, and it was very common for them to pitch more than one inning. So I think it's a situation where we're bringing our main guy to preserve the lead for a couple innings. So Dick Allen, I know it's lefty on righty. Also, again, in those years, I don't think that they were like worrying ab about that as much as they do nowadays, at least. All right, so Dick Allen the batter with a nice uh, 85 power against lefties Dan McGinn on the mound for us 2-1 the count we have a 7-3 lead top of the 8 the Phillies only have one hit and that's grounded to short and that's going to be out number 1 they only have one hit the problem is that Wigner allowed 8 walks <laughs> that's why he was so tired otherwise he would be golden all right, Mike Anderson is the next batter. 0 and 2. Struck out swinging. Two quick outs here, and Johnny Caddison is the next batter. 3 and 0. And it's a four pitch walk. Don Money is the next batter, run on first two outs. 3 and 1. Grounds it to third, and Bailey bubbles it, and the inning is still alive. All right, Cookie Roas now, two on two outs, full count. It's it to center. Klein is there. That's out number three. All right, bottom of the eight and coming. I did a, dou a double switch because Wigner was the next batter. I didn't really want to pull Wicker. I think he's had a pretty... Uh, pretty honest game but it is what it is All right, gary jestad leading off here against grant jackson bottom of the eight two and oh the count to jestad that's it to center and anderson is there that's gonna be out number one mario wills is next no count grounds it to third and he's thrown out at first for out number two Manny Mota now, one and two. Grounds it to short, and he's thrown out at first for out number three. Very quick inning. A one, two, three inning. Expos go down in order through all the cliches in there. Mike Ryan leading up for the Phillies top of the ninth. The Phillies are starting to run out of outs. Three and oh the count. And that's a leadoff walk on four pitches. Not too happy about that start. Darren Johnson is not a batter. He stayed in the game after coming in as a pinch hitter earlier. Two and two. Struck out swinging. Perfect. That's what you want to see from your stopper. Don Luck is the next batter. Comes in as a pinch hitter. Oh, that was the pitcher's spot now. Full count. Struck out swinging. Beautiful. Johnny brings Johnny Briggs now. Two outs run on first, one and two. And he struck out swinging. Megan strikes out the side in inning number nine. And he pitches two scoreless innings for the Expos in a 7 3 victory. 
and sadly that doesn't allow him to get a save which uh, not as prominent of a stat back then oh I didn't realize so I didn't realize that when uh, Tony Taylor got hit by the ball he got injured I missed it Let's go ahead and leave the game. Uh, reset it. Kitas as a shutout against the Reds. And Orioles show no mercy in nine nothing trashing of the Tigers. Jim Palmer with a great start. Oh, look at that nice eleven and three record for him. Of course, he's just starting his career, too. He's probably going to be pretty good the entire time. <laughs> because he was in real life. All right, so we're gonna advance to tomorrow. Oh, looks like there's a, there's straight talks between the Giants and the Braves. Right. Tony Taylor is day to day for one week, so he's gonna play injured, it looks like. Nice. That's, you know, a little bit weaker of a lineup for them. All right, we're going to take a quick look over here, see if the... Nope. RGM didn't do anything, of course. All right, so game number two, uh, we're going to be facing off Bill Champion. And we're going to be sending Carl Morton. Now, Morton is going to be full, fully rested, but uh, he's on the one. He usually, he pitches deep into the games, but he gives up a lot of walks and everything. So, so he pitches deep into games, but it's it's not smooth. <laughs> it's not, uh, you know, Greg Maddus uh, at all. All right, so champion is three and eight. Oh, it's a little tough for a Bill Champion over there. Twenty-one years old, so he's pretty young, getting settled into his role in the majors. All right, let's uh, let's let's play this game. All right, do we have somebody that's tired? Yep, Bateman is. So we're gonna go ahead and bring in. Oh, Champion is gonna pitch tired. Look at that. <laughs> Right, so as usual, I very rarely use Brand as a catcher. Usually, I use Blackabill. Oof, that's a lot of uh, that's a lot of lefties in a row. Not uh, not the biggest fan of that, but we're gonna keep it uh, that way. Jim Ferry has been playing all right, so we're gonna give him a few more starts before I decide if I want to change it back. <clears throat> all right, remember what I said during the previous game? Uh, I'm keeping Klein batting eight to protect the pitcher. So. All right, we are going to start this game. The Phillies are going to go with Taylor. Darren Johnson is going to be playing in left field. You can Mike Anderson, John, John Kelson, Don Manny, Kuki Ross, Mike Ryan. Oh, the only change is instead of Briggs in left field, it's going to be Darren Johnson. Easy enough. All right, and... Uh, we are at Parc Jarry again, and the game is on the way. It's 2.05 on a Friday afternoon in Quebec in June. It's probably pretty nice, or at least pretty nice for me. Uh, Tony Taylor facing off against Carl Morton, and the game is on the way. A 3-1 count to Taylor. And he walks. All right. So just like in the previous game, we walked the first. Uh, no, that's not true. We did not walk the first batter of the game in the previous game. We walked the second one. All right. Darren Johnson is next. Runner on first. Nobody out. One and two. 
Oh, strikeout swinging. Martin with a very rare strikeout here. He doesn't strike out many. I don't really have a whole lot of high strikeout guys. Dick Allen now, run around first one out, one and one. That's a base hit to left. All right, so it's gonna be two on and one out for Mike Anderson. Full count. Oh, and he walks. Now that's not good. We load up the bases in the first inning again. We did that in the previous game. Johnny Callison is next. We really could use a double play ball here. No, not gonna happen. And we walk him on four pitches and we force in a run. <coughs> so in the first game, we walk three straight batters, then we get a bulk to force in a run. This time we load up the bases again and walk in a run. We were just struggling. Don Money is the next batter. Runners everywhere. One out. One and one. Rounds it to short, to second for one, back to first for the double play. All right, we needed that. So, uh, all things considered, we allowing only one run is probably a decent uh, outcome here. We'll take it for sure. Bottom of the first, champion on the mound, Murray Wills is going to be the batter. No count to him. That's it to right. Oh. That's cut there by Callison for out number one. Looks like it was it fairly hard, but a good run there by Callison to catch it. Manny Mota batting next, 0 and 1. And that's it. Oh, all the way to the fence. In, yeah. In left center. And Mota goes all the way to third base on the play. That's going to be a triple for Mota. And we have a runner on third with one out. For the guy that's on a hot streak, Rusty Stubb. That's the guy you want at the bat in that situation. Full count and he walks. So we took the bat out of Stubb's hands. And now Mac Jones is the next batter. Runners on first and third. One out, one and oh. That's Grounded to second, they get it out at second base, but they can't turn the double play. Runner scores on the play. Fielder's choice for Mac Jones. Two outs now with a runner on the first for Jim Ferry. Game is not at that one. One and one. Oh, the runner goes, and Mac Jones is safe. That's his fourth stolen base this season. So now we have a runner in scoring position. Two and two to count on Ferry. That's it to right for a base hit. And a run score. Sorry, I thought I heard a noise over there. I thought I heard a noise over there. Might have been my music. And it is 2 1 for the Expos, with or without the phantom noises. Floyd Wicker now with a runner on first and two outs, one and oh. And he hits it to center, that's gonna be a base hit. This inning is still alive. Two on, two outs for John Bocabella, who, uh, who, uh, who has a save this season. It was, a, it was an interesting game for sure. No count to Bocabella. Rounds it to third. And he's thrown out at first for out number three. The Expos, however, scored twice. Take a one-run lead. It is 2-1 Montreal. Top of the second and coming with Kuki Rojas, the batter. 3-1 to count. And he walks. So an, uh, another start by my starter where we're having some control issues. <clears throat> Mike Ryan, runner on first and nobody out. No count. And that's a base hit to left. All right, two on, nobody out, and uh, Bill Champion is more than likely bunting in this situation. One and one. And he is nicely done. It is a good sacrifice hit for champion. And he advances both runners. They are both in a scoring position now with one out. So we need uh, 
Yeah, we need something good here against Taylor. Three and one the count. Not exactly what I had in mind. And another walk. That's the fifth walk out by Morton. He's like, uh, like everybody was like, oh my god, nobody can do worse than Wigner and his eight walks in the game. And Carl Morton is like, oh my beer. Here I come. <clears throat> he does have a prisoner's mustache, so it wouldn't surprise me that he's drunk right now. Runners in scoring, uh, sorry, base is loaded, Run, uh, one out, Darren Johnson is the batter, two into the count, struck out swing, oh that's big, we needed that one. <clears throat> the cannon now, base is juiced, two outs, no count, and that's, oh that's cut by Murray Wills, what a diving effort there. I had to uh, hold my breath for a second because it also could have been a base hit that scores a couple runs. All right, so we get out of the jam here. Bottom of the second, Ty Klein leading out for us. Two and two. <clears throat> Rounds it to first. And Adam takes it himself for out number one. Carl Martin is next. One and two. Struck out swinging. Maury Wills now. Full count. Oh, a little dribbler in front of the plate. And they get him out at first for out number three. A quick one, two, three inning. And top of the third incoming. Expo still ahead by one. Mike Anderson, the batter. 0 oh, and 2. Rounds it to short. Wheels with the throw. That's going to be an error. Ha! I also thought it was going to be out number one. Oh, it was a, that was on wheels. A bad throw. All right. So runner on first. Nobody out. Johnny Caddison is the batter. No count. Rounds it to second. And we only get the runner out at second base. Fielder's choice. And now Dumb Money is the batter. One and two. He hit in a double play to end the first inning earlier, and now he strikes out. Swinging. <coughs> Cookie Rojas, runner on first and two outs. Top of the third. Oh, that's it to left, but Mac Jones is there, catches it, and that's out number three. Bottom of the third incoming. Manny Mota will lead the inning for us. Against Bill Champion. Two and two. Struck out swinging. Rusty stub now. Full count. And that's it to left for a base hit. Rusty stub is on fire. And I'm not saying that because there's a little fire icon next to his name. He's really been playing well lately. And that's good because he had a little bit of a cold spell like a few weeks ago. So. Alright, runner on first. One out for Mac Jones. Three and one. And that's it to left. Should be cut to by uh, Johnson for out number two. Now Jim Ferry is the batter. Runner on first two outs. No count. And he grounds it to first. Adam takes it to first himself. That's out number three. Expo still ahead. Two to one. Top of the fourth and coming here at Takjari. Mike Ryan is the next batter. Two and one to count. Grounds it to short. That's row to first. That's out number one. Bill Champion now. One and one. And that's it to... Oh, another good diving catch by Murray Wills. He did have that error, but he had two incredible catches as well. That's the second out of the inning. Tony Taylor playing hurt. What a, what type of injury does he have? I did see that he was the uh, elbow contusion, even though like, it looked like we hit him in the ankle. That's what hurt him, is when Wigner hurt him, hit him with the ball. But it was more in the ankle area than in the elbow. But anyway, maybe, maybe he hurt his elbow falling down after he got hit there. There you, you have it. One and two to count. 
And that's it to left for a base hit. Falls in front of Mac Jones. So Phillies with a two out base hit. And the inning is still alive. And it brings up Deron Johnson, who's on a hot streak. Two and two. And that's it to right. Stubb. Oh, with the nice uh, sliding catch here. And that's out number three. We're flashing our defense today. With diving and sliding left and right to catch the ball. Bottom of the fourth with Floyd Wicker facing up against Champion. 3-0. and oh. And he walks on four pitches. John Bacabella is next. 0-1. Oh, oh, and he bunts towards first base. And that's going to be the first out of the inning. Bocabello sacrifices himself, and Wicker makes it to second base on the play. Ty Klein is next with a runner in scoring position and one out. No count. Oh, the runner goes. Uh, that's not good. He's cut. All right. Two outs now, and the bases are suddenly empty. One and one. And that's a base hit to center. All right. Inning is still alive, sadly. Carl Martin is the next batter. Not exactly a menace with a bat in his arms, unless he's uh, assaulting somebody, I suppose. No count. And he hits it to center. Fairly deep, but it's cut there by Anderson for out number three. All right. The Expos had a good opportunity, but they screwed up. <clears throat> Actually, the Klein single might have scored him. All right, top of the fifth, Dick Allen is the batter. All right, Morton is still able to go. Full count. Oh, and he walks. All right, lead off walk for the Phillies. Mike Anderson now, no count. Oh, the runner goes, and Dick Allen is cut stealing. the count grounds it to first and ferry takes it himself that's out number two johnny caddison is next full count and he walks All right, carl morton here the seven walks i mean wigner had eight the previous game where we're just we're just afraid to throw strikes round first two outs oh and one and that's a base hit to right for uh, Don Money. All right, so two on, two outs for Cookie Rojas. Full count. And that's a base hit to center. That's going to score a run. The game is tied at two runs apiece. Carl Morton here having problems closing out inning number five. All of that, all of that happens after two outs. Mike Ryan, runners on first and third, two outs, 0-1. And, and that's it to right for a base hit. The Phillies take the lead. Right. And the runner makes it to third base on the play. So now Bill Champion comes to the plate with runners on first and third, 1-1. One and, one. and even Champion gets a base hit that scores in a run. It is now 4-2 for Philadelphia. Carl Morton just struggling mightily here. Tony Taylor comes in 0-1. Oh, that's a bad pitch. We don't need that. Right, two runners in scoring position now. 2-1 to Taylor. Grounds it to second. Moto with the throw. That's out number three. The Phillies scored three times in inning number five. They now have a two-run lead. It is 4-2 for the Phillies. I almost said Flyers again. It's not my fault, okay? That both teams have a team name that starts with F, like in Philadelphia. It's confusing. Not confusing. I guess it is. Maybe. Maury Wills leading off the bottom of the fifth. We need a ready of our own here. No count. <clears throat> Runs it to short. Money with the throw. That's out number one. Manny Mota is next. Two and one. 
That's it to lift our base it. All right, so Mota gets on board after one out. Let's see if we can get some uh, action going of our own. Oh, they brought in a ready pitcher. Is it because he got hurt? I had to click and I didn't see. No, he's just tired. Oh yeah, that's three started the game tired. So yeah, he's not uh, not doing all that great. That guy is hurt. Uh, or so. Oh no, he's the he's the one on the mound right now. So all right, Lowell Palmer is now the pitcher. Rusty stubbed the batter, runner on first, one out. Oh and one the count. And that's it to left for a base hit for Stubb. He's still on fire. Whew. We're lucky to have him. Now that I said that, my GM is finally going to do something. He's going to trade Rusty Stubb for peanuts. Two on one out. Mac Jones, the batter. One and one. Oh, that's it with some authority there. <clears throat> and it's a three-run blast by Mac Jones. And all of a sudden, we take the lead back. Look at that. Three-run home run, 423 feet for Mac Jones, and the fans at Park Jolie are really happy. They're probably drinking some Labatt 50. Or some O'Keefe or something. All right. Uh, Jim Ferry is next. No count. <clears throat> One out. Oh. Oh, catcher's interference. I was like, what's going on? There was no count. <coughs> Catchers and their friends, so Jim Ferry makes it to first base on the plate. Floyd Wicker is next, three and one. Grounds it to second. Oh, that's gonna be an error. No, it's not. Okay. Usually it is when they dive like that. I guess it was considered that the ball was too much out of play or something, or out of reach. Sorry. Runner in scoring position, two outs for John Bocabella, one and one, and that's a bad pitch. The runner makes it to third on the play. Two and one to Bocabella. And that's it to right. And it's out of here. John Bocabella like flex the muscles here. He doesn't get many hits, so like that two run blast is uh, very surprising. All right, so he adds two more runs on the board. It is now 7-4 for the Expos. Nice five-run inning so far. And they're going to go ahead and pull the pitcher. And it's going to be Jerry Johnson on the mound now. Ty Klein is the batter with two outs. Full count to him. And he walks. All right, a two-out walk brings Carl Martin to the uh, to the to the plate, one and two, and he struck out swinging. But the Expos score five runs, and they are now up seven four. Top of the six, Darren Johnson leads off that inning. Two and one, the count. And that's a liner to second. Mota is there, catches it for out number one. The cannon is next, full count. And that's it. Oh, and now Wills with a jump to catch the ball. That's out number two. Really good defense by Wills in this game, despite his error. Mike Anderson, no count, two outs. It's it to right. Stubb is there. Catches it for out number three. All right. Fairly easy inning for Carl Martin. And we are now going into the bottom of the six with Maury Wills leading off here against Jerry Johnson. One and one the count. That's a base hit to center. And Wills is aboard with a leadoff single. Manny Mota is next. Two and one. Oh, we tried to bump, but he missed. And now he hits it to right for a base hit. All right, the bunt missed, and now we have a opposite field single. So two on and nobody out for the guy that's on a very hot streak, Rusty Stubb. Two for two today with a walk. No count. 
And that's it to center. Oh, he's out now. Anderson catches it for out number one. Matt Jones, two on, one out. One and out. Oh. And the runner goes. And Will steals a third base, his 16th of the season. Now we have runners on the extremities. Two and out. Oh. He rounds it to short. The... He scowled out at home. He looked like he was safe to me. I mean, if you're going to ask for my opinion, that's what I would say. But, yeah. All right, so they got Wills out uh, at home. So two on, two outs for Jim Ferry now. Three and one. And he walks. So bases loaded for Floyd Wicker. Two and oh. That's it solidly, but right at the first baseman, Allen, and that's going to be out number three. Expose, uh, load up the bases, but fail to score. Top of the seventh and coming, Johnny Callison, the batter, 0 and 2. That's it to left for a base hit. This time, Wills just can't reach it. So, lead off single for the Phillies. Don Money the batter, 1 and 0. Oh. And he pops it foul. And it's cut there by Ferry for out number 1. Greg Luzinski comes in as a pinch hitter, runner on first, 1 out, 2 and 2. That's popped as well. And that's cut there by Ferry for out number 2. Now Mike Ryan the batter. Go in two. He grounds it to short. And he's out at second base for out number three. Bottom of the seventh, John Bocabella has a blast today. Three and one to count. And he pops it. And that's going to be cut there by Harmon, who's a, who comes came in as a defensive replacement for out number one. It's time to switch to water. One out for Ty Klein. Full count to him. That's a base hit. Uh, nope, sorry. It's cut by Allen for out number two. I thought it was a base hit. Got fooled again. Uh, yeah, I think it should be the end of Carl Morton today. Uh, he gave us seven innings. I suppose I should be happy with that. Gonna bring in a pinch hitter. I don't have any left bats on the bench, so we're gonna go with Don Clendenon. Right, Clendenon now, one and one. And he flies it to center, and it's cut by Anderson for out number three. Top of the eight and coming, exposed still ahead by three. What do I want to do here? Okay, we have... Okay. Let's bring in Robertson. I'm not going to make a defensive sub. Alright, they bring in Johnny Briggs as a pinch hitter. The left bat. 2-2 two and two against Robertson. And he struck out looking. Oh, it, usually that happens to my pinch hitters to strike out looking when he comes in as a pinch hitter. Makes me a slightly upset. Tony Taylor, two and two, one out. It's up to right. That's cut there by Stubb for out number two. 
Darren Johnson is next. Two and two. Oh, looks like it might be out of here. And it is solo shot for Darren Johnson. It is now 7-5. I guess we have to make it a little bit interesting for, you know, viewership uh, retention or something. All right, Dick Allen now. Full count. And he walks. Mike Anderson is next. Two and one. And that's cut by the pitcher. A little liner there. Cut by Robertson for out number three. The Phillies do score one run. It's now 75, bottom of the eighth incoming. Jeff James comes in relief for the Phillies. Murray Wills is going to be the batter for us. No count to Wills. And that's a base hit to left for Wills, so a leadoff base hit. Hopefully we can add to our lead. That, that would be beautiful. A two-run lead is a little, uh, a little light. Manny Mota now. Runner on first, nobody out. One and two. That's it to left. And who's in left now? Oh, it's still Darren Johnson. All right. He catches it for out number one. Rusty stub now. Two and oh. That's it to right for a base hit all the way to the fence. Stubb continues his excellent work at the plate. That's going to be a double. So now there's two runners in scoring position and only one out for Mac Jones. Jones already has a three-run blast today, so I will not replace him. And four RBIs total. That wasn't a grand slam. It was a three-run blast. No count. Oh, they're going to walk him. And they're gonna load up the bases with one out for Jim Ferry. One and oh. Oh, that's out of here. Grand slam for Jim Ferry. Too bad Jero Nalit is not there for that. That's a second grand slam this season. It's now 11 5 for the Expos. Lots of grand slams in my uh, in my series. Like I played that uh, four game series. Was it against the Cubs that uh, they had like grand slams in every game? Not too long ago. I had Floyd Wicker now with one out, full count, and that's it to left, and that's cut there by Johnson for out number two. John Bacabella is next. Full count to him. Struck out swinging. I guess I'm going to keep Roberts, uh, yeah, Robertson on the mound. Hi, right, Johnny Callison is the next batter. One and one. And that's it weekly. It's popped there, and Wicker catches it for out number one. Don Money is next. 0 oh and 2. And he struck out looking. Terry Arman is now the batter. One and two. Grounds it to short. Wheels with the throw. And that's going to be out number three. Expose win. Game number two. 11 5. Nice little game here. We had uh, quite a few home runs, a lot of offense. All right. Why didn't I leave the game? Blavin with a nice uh, shot against Kansas City. He's, he's playing as a 18 years old. Look at that, those ratings already as an 18 years old. Oh. Perry spins three, not a Gerard Perry with a three nothing shutout. We faced him a couple times already. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and advance today. Do we 
have a transaction to mention. We do not. All right. Let's see here. All right. So game number three, uh, we're going to be facing off against Turk Pharaoh. Now, today is Sunday. Not in real life, but in the game. And we have a double header because we have a double header every Sunday until the All Star game. So that's um, in a month. Um, so for the first game, we're going to have Bill Stoneman on the mound. They are going to go with Turk Farrell. I hope I don't have too many tired position players because they are going to be tired for both games and I'm going to need to sub them, both of them. So hopefully, like a rusty stub is not tired, right? Uh, Alright, so Farrell on the mound for them. He's a righty. Oh, he's usually a reliever, I think. Yeah, he only started three games. All right, so let's go. Is he tired? No, that's why they're bringing him. He's not tired. Bill's, oh, my players are not tired. They might be tired after this game, uh, after today, both of those games, but they're not tired today, so I can do what I want. Bill Stoneman is also not tired. The next pitcher is going to be tired. It's probably going to be uh, Jaster, I believe. So Jaster is going to pitch tired. All right, so the Phillies are going to go with Taylor, Darren Johnson, Dick Allen, Mike Anderson, Johnny Callison, Don Money, Cookie Ross, and Jim Hutto. All right. I wonder if Hutto is going to play both games at catcher. Because I'm looking at that 190 batting average and I'm kind of liking that. Alright, I'm gonna keep this lineup. So we are two for two so far against the Phillies. Let's play game number three. And hopefully we have the good Bill Stoneman on the mound. That would be per that would be beautiful. If he can pitch me a complete game, oh man. I'm uh, I'm going to be very happy. Alright, Tony Taylor leading up for the Phillies, top of the first, obviously. And no count to him. Right, and he flies it to center, cut by Klein for out number one. Darren Johnson is next. Oh, and one. Rounds it to first. Oh, that's going to be an error. Error by Ferry. Oh, no, it's on Stoneman. Anyway, that's an error. So runner on first, one out for De Cannon. Two and two. Struck out swinging. Perfect. And now Mike Anderson. One and two. Struck out swinging. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Bottom of the first incoming, that's the first time in the series that the Phillies don't score in the first inning. So Maury Wills leading off against Turk Farrow, 2-0. Oh. Grounds, oh, that's it, solidly to opposite field down the line for extra bases. That's going to be a stand-up double for Maury Wills. All right, so runner in scoring position already, and nobody out for Manny Mota, one and one. Grounds it to third. So Wheels has to hold that second base. They get Mota out at first, and that's out number one. Rusty Stubb, the guy that uh, they cannot get out anymore. No count, and that's... A liner cut by the shortstop money for out number two. Wills go back to second base on the play. Mac Jones now with two outs, two and one. Oh, that's it out of here. And that's a two run blast for Mac Jones, his second round tripper in as many games. 
So Mac Jones heating up a little bit. He had like a very long slump where he was really not playing very well, striking out, uh, striking out a ton and whatnot. But now two home runs in two games, and he puts us on the board. It's two nothing for the Expos here in this afternoon game at Park Jogi. Jim Ferry with two outs, 0-1. That's it to right for a base hit all the way to the fence. That's going to be extra bases. Oh, and Ferry with the triple, two out triple for Ferry. All right, John Bateman is the next batter. No count. And that's a base hit to center for for a run scored. Three nothing for the Expos. Look at us. Oppor uh, opportune inning. All of that after two outs too. Floyd Wicker is the batter. Runner on first two outs. Full count. And he walks. The inning is still alive. We can still do more damage in this first inning. Ty Klein now. Full count, grounds it to second, and he's thrown out at first for out number three. The Expos get three runs in the opening inning at top of the second and coming. 3 nothing Montreal with Johnny Caddison leading up for the Phillies. Three and one to count. And he walks. Don Money is next. No count. Run on first. Rounds it to short, to second for one, and back to first for the double play. 6 4 3 double play for the Expos, and now with two outs, Kuki Roas is the batter, no count to him. Grounds it to Wills, and that's going to be out number three, bottom of the second and coming. It's going to start with Bill Stoneman. Three and one to count to him. Oh, is he gonna walk? He will. The Phillies walking our pitcher. That's when you want to score runs. You want to make them pay for for such uh, a mistake. Murray Wills runner on first. Nobody out. No count. He grounds it to first. Adam takes it to first himself. That's gonna be out number one. Stoneman makes it to second base on the play. Now Manny Mota is the batter, one and one. He grounds it to second, and he's thrown out at first for out number two. So runner on third, two outs for Rusty Stubb. Two and two. Struck out swinging, oh. Rusty Stubb is 0 for two in this game. What is going on? Right, Jim Hutto is the batter for the Phillies. Top of the third. We are still up 3-0. 2-2. Two two. Rounds it to first. And Ferry takes it to the bag himself. That's out number one. Turk Farrell is next. 1-2. and two. Struck out swinging. Tony Taylor now. 0-1. That's going to be a base hit to center for the injured Taylor with his sore elbow. Darren Johnson, runner on first two outs, 0-2. That's it to center. Klein is there, however, and he has it for out number three. Bottom of the third and coming. Exposed still up by three. Mac Jones, the batter. Full count. That's it to left, and all right, that's got by Johnson for out number one. Jim Ferry is next, one and oh. Grounds it to first, and that's gonna be out number two. John Bateman, one and one. Grounds it to first, and Allen takes it himself again. That's going to be out number three. Expos go down in order in inning number three. Top of the fourth is incoming. And they have Dick Allen leading off. 0-2 to count to him. 
That's it to left. And that's cut there by Jones for out number one. Mike Anderson, two and two with one out. And he struck out looking. Johnny Caddison, one and two. And he struck out swinging as well. Quick inning, there you go. We're in a hurry to uh, start the second game of the day after that. All right, so Floyd Wicker, one and two. Struck out swinging for out number one. Ty Klein is not a batter, no count. And that's it uh, as a liner to the shortstop money, and that's cut for out number two. Bill Stoneman is the next batter, two and two. He walked in the second inning, and now he flies it to center, where Mike Anderson camps underneath the ball, catches it for out number three. Don Money is the next batter, top of the fifth. And dare I say that I believe that we are seeing the good Bill Stoneman today. He's pitching really well so far. So, knock on wood. Uh, yeah, there you go. There's a little bit of wood there. Kind of hurt my finger during that. All right, one and two to down money. Struck out swinging. Kuki Roas is next, no count. Oh, that's it to center. Klein goes after it and he catches it. He has very good defense and he just showed it there. Two outs now for Jim Hutto. Full count. Rounds it to short. Wills with the throw. That's going to be out number three. Another fairly easy inning for Bill Stoneman. Bottom of the fifth with Maury Wills leading off against Turk Farrell. Still on the mound for the Phillies. He's, he's cut himself back after maybe stumbling a little bit out of the gate with that three-run inning. He's been pitching pretty well since. All right, it's starting to rain. Two and two. He grounds it to second, and that's an error by Roas. So there is a runner on first and nobody out for the Expos with Manny Mota, the batter. Three and one. Grounds it to center for a base hit. All right, so two on and nobody out for Rusty Stubb. He's 0 for 2. He's on, he's on a hot streak, but he's 0 for 2 today. So I'm sure he wants to uh, pad his numbers a little. 1 and 2. And that's it. Oh, that's a base hit that looked a little terrible, but I will take it. So base it to left. Bases loaded, nobody out for Mac Jones. No count. Oh, it's out of here. Grand Slam. Six RBIs, two home runs for Mac Jones today. Guess who the player of the game is going to be? That's right, John Bucabella. Nice. And thanks to that Grand Slam, we now have a 7-0 lead. Jim Ferry is next. Nobody out still. And uh, they have, they've had enough. They're bringing in Lowell Palmer again. 0-1. That's it to right. And that's cut there by Callison for out number one. John Bateman, the batter. Full count. Oh, that's out of here. John Bateman also with a home run. Solo blast. It is 8 nothing for the Expos. Floyd Wicker now. 0-1. And that's a base hit to right. Ty Klein runner on first, one out, three and one. He grounds it to short, 
and Ty Klein hits in a double play. One of my most reliable hitters ends the inning by committing himself into a double play. We did a lot of damage in that inning, including a grand slam by Mac Jones. It is 8-0 for the Expos. Lowell Palmer is going to be the batter. They're keeping him in the game. Bill Stoneman just untouchable today. 1-2 and two to count. Struck out swinging. Yeah, I guess the Phillies are like, yeah, we're giving up on that game. Uh, we're we're going to catch them next game. Tony Taylor with one out, no count. That's it to right. Stubb camps underneath it. And he gets it for out number two. Darren Johnson now, two and two. Struck out swinging. What a game by Bill Stoneman. Man. This is one heck of a game from him. Alright, so Bill Stoneman leads off inning number six for us. Two and two to count. Struck out swinging. Maury Wills is next. No count. Oh, the rain has stopped. Good. I don't need a, a rain delay. All right, and he hits it to center for a... Well, Anderson is there, catches it for out number two. Manny Mota now, one and one to count. And that's it to left, and that's going to be a base hit. Falls in front of Darren Johnson. All right, two out base it uh, as the inning is still alive with Rusty Stubb, the batter now. One and one. The runner goes, and he's nailed down for out number three. Expo still up, 8 nothing. Kind of an asshole team goes and attempts to steal when it's 8 nothing. Maybe uh, maybe we consider it's not a big lead enough. All right, Dick Allen leaning off the top of the seventh for the Phillies. Two and one. That's out of here. Eight one. We still have a seven run lead. That's not the end of the world. Mike Anderson now. Two and two. That's it to right. Stub all the way to the track and catches it for out number one. Johnny Callison is next. Two and two. Oh, we drilled him. All right, Don Money with a runner on first and one out. No count. The runner goes, and we're not even going to try to get him. Runner in scoring position, one out, one and two to money. Struck out swinging. I believe that was the eighth strikeout. Ninth strikeout by Stolman. Look at that. Reguzinski comes in as a pinch hitter. One and oh. Rounds it to first, and he takes it to the bag himself. Ferry does, and that's out number three. The Phillies get on the board. Solo shot by Dick Adam. At bottom of the seventh and coming, uh, that's going to be Rusty Stubb leading up for us. 0-1. That's it to center. Is it out of here? It is. I wasn't sure. Like it. Usually they're it with a little bit more authority than that. But that one was just like... Doo -doo 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 -doo. So shot by Rusty Stubb. We take that run back. And we restore our 8-run lead. 9-1 the score. Mac Jones, who already has 2 home runs and 6 RBIs today, including a grand slam. Bottom of the 7th and nobody out. Full count. And that's it to left for a base hit. What a game by Mac Jones. Something tells me that there's a good chance that he's the player of the game. Although maybe Bill Stoneman could have something to say about it, but I think it's gonna go to Mike Jones at this point. 
Jim Ferry, run around first, nobody out. One and two. No, that's a strikeout looking. John Bateman, no count. Grounds it to third, to second for one. And that completes the double play with the Rovi to first. And that's the end of inning number seven. We did restored our eight run lead thanks to a solo blast by rusty stub and now it's going to be the top of the eight for jim huttle full count grounds it in front of the catcher bateman to first that's going to be out number one lowell palmer stays in the game and he's going to be the batter now full count to him and he walks looked like a pitch to me All right, Tony Taylor is the next batter. Run on first, one out, full count. And that's it to right for a base hit. There's going to be extra bases. And Stubb brings it back into the infield. And there's a run scored, and that's going to be a triple for Taylor. No, a double, and he advances to third on the true. Okay. So runner on third, one out for Darren Johnson. No count. That's out of here. All right, Bill Stoneman uh, starting to uh, falter a little. Two run blast, it's now 9 4. And now Dick Allen is the batter. Uh, yeah. One and two to count. Struck out swinging. We're going to try to uh, have Stoneman finish the inning, and then we'll see what's what. Mike Anderson with two outs, three and one. And he walks. All right, Stoneman struggling a little bit in inning number eight here. Now Johnny Callison is the batter, two and two. And he struck out looking perfect. All right, so we're out of the inning. I might bring somebody for inning number nine. All right, Floyd Wicker leads off here for the bottom of the eight. The Phillies scored three times in inning number eight. We now have a five-run lead. It is 9-4, one and two. Struck out swinging. Ty Klein, 0-2. Oh, oh, got drilled. That how to hurt. Bill Solman gave me a valiant effort. I'm gonna pinch it for him. I'm gonna bring in Clendenham. Pitch eight innings. It looked like he was gonna go the distance, but uh, the last couple innings he gave up a, a blast to Dick Allen and then three runs at last inning. So we're gonna pull him. Run on first one out for Clendenham, two and one. Oh, John Boozer is on the mound for the Phillies. I always say it was a weird last name, but, you know. All right, and Clendenon with a base hit. So now we have two, on, two runners in scoring position, one out for Maury Wills. No count. And Wills with a base hit to left. That's going to score a run. It is now 10-4. Manny Mota, runners on first, runner on third, one out, one and one. That's it to left. That's got there by Darren Johnson. All right, and now Rusty Stubb, the batter, one and one. And that's it to left, and that's got by Johnson for out number three. The Expos do score one run. It is now 10-4. And who are we going to bring? Let's see. I'm going to bring Roy Face, I think. All right, so Roy Face coming in. This is not a safe situation. Uh, Don Money leading off the top of the ninth for the Phillies. 1-0 and to count. That's lifted to left. Mac Jones is there. Catches it for out number one. 
Now Terry Harmon is the next batter. Two and two. Grounds it to second. Oh, that's an error. Either on motor or ferry, it doesn't really matter. That's an error. It's on motor, so the runner makes it to second base. So runner in scoring position, one out for Jim Hutto. One and two. And that's cut by Wicker for out number two on the true first runner as to uh, old at second base. Now Mike Ryan, the batter last out for the Phillies, 0 and 1. And grounds it to the pitcher, and that's going to be out number three. All right, another good game for the Expos. We won, what, 7 3, 11 5, 10 4. So the offense is feasting on Philadelphia's pitching right now. So we're going to take it for sure. All right, so we. Uh, we win the first game of the, the double header. Now it's going to be a lefty duel. We're going to be facing off against Woody Fryman for game number two today. And I think I'm going to take a quick break here. So I'm going to mute my microphone and I will be right back. All right, and we're back for the fourth and last game of this four-game series. Uh, Bill Stillman did uh, uh, help with what we need here by pitching deep into the first game of the double header. Now, sadly, Larry Jasser is going to pitch tired, and he already doesn't have great stamina to start with. So that's going to be a little rough. Um, 
so we'll see but i, I do have I, all of my relievers can pitch uh, and i'm gonna try to have how we read pitch if possible we'll see how what happens but uh, i'll try to save everybody else if possible all right let's get going three wins today i feel uh, pretty good old Okay, we have a lot of uh, tired guys here, so we're gonna need to uh, figure something out. Alright, so uh, Bobby Wine is gonna play shortstop for... And then I'm gonna put... Uh, Arrow at center field, and I guess Ron Brown at second base, yep. Alright, so now the fun thing is, who is going to lead off this game? <laughs> um, I guess I'm gonna go with Error, he has a little bit of speed. Um, then I'm gonna have... Man, Brand leading second? Hey, it's rough over here, don't judge me. I think I'm gonna go like that. Definitely not an ideal lineup, but it is what it is. Alright, Phillies are gonna go with Tony Terror, Darren Johnson, Dick Allen, Mike Anderson, Johnny Callison, Don Money, Cookie Rose, Jim Otto playing catcher again, so they don't have any tired players. Alright, so definitely not my ideal lineup, so the Phillies might have a shot in this one. I guess we'll see. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and start this game. Now we have Larry Jasser on the mound. We're facing off also against a lefty Rudy Fryman. So Tony Taylor leading off, and it's a 0 and 1 count to him. We are 6-1 and one against the Phillies this season, so not bad. Alright, that's it to right. Stop is there, that's going to be out number one. Alright, Darren Johnson is next. Full count. And he walks. Yeah, we really don't need to be pitching too deep into counts here. All right, uh, Dick Allen now runner on first one out, two and two, struck out swinging. Now Mike Anderson with two outs, two and one. That's it to center. Herrera goes after it, but it's out of here. It's a two nothing game. Johnny Callison now with two outs, one and one. Rounds it to second. And Ron Brown gets it to Bob Bailey for out number three. Phillies get a 2 0 lead thanks to a two run blast. It is 2 0 Philadelphia. Jose Error are leading off for us. Full count. And he was. Now the sad thing is, is that I have those three guys that are tired, and they're still gonna be tired tomorrow. So I'm gonna need to, like, use uh, use the same guys to replace them again. All right. So run, run, run around first. Nobody out. One and two. That's a liner cut by the third baseman, Taylor, for out number one. Now Rusty Stubb is next. Full count. Struck out swinging. Don Clendenon now, two and two, rounds it to second, and they get him out at first for out number three. Top of the second and coming, we are down to nothing here at Park Jolie. It is the end of the afternoon. Don Money leading off, full count. Yeah, this right Jasser is not gonna get very deep. Rounds it to short. Bobby Wine with the throw, that's out number one. 
Kuki Roas is next. Full count. Rounds it to third. Wicker with the throw. That's out number two. Jim Hutto is next. 0 and 1. Gets it to right, and Rusty Stubb barely has to move. That's going to be out number three. To the bottom of the second, Bob Bailey leading off. One and one. Grounds it to short. That's going to be out number one. Floyd Wicker is next. Two and two. Struck out swinging. John Bateman, 0 and 1. Grounds it to short, and the Expos go down 1, 2, 3. Top of the third and coming. Still down 2 0. Woody Fryman leading up for the Phillies. 2 and 1. Grounds it to third. Wicker with the throw. That's going to be out number 1. Tony Taylor is next. Full count. Rounds it to second. Brand with the throw. That's out number two. Darren Johnson now. One and one. Grounds it to first. And Bailey takes it himself. That's out number three. All right. Bottom of the third incoming. Bobby Wine leading off. One and out. Oh. That's line to the shortstop money for out number one. Larry Jasser is next. 1 and 0. Oh. And that's a base hit to right. So the pitcher gets our first base hit of the game. And now Jose Herrera is next. No count. And that's it to left for a base hit. All right. So now we have two runners on and one out only. And the batter is going to be Ron Brand. No count, and he tries to bunt, but that's a bad bunt, and it's cut by the pitcher. So everybody retreats. Two outs now for Rusty Stubb. One and one, and that's it to right for a base hit. Is that gonna score a run? Yes, it is a two-one game. Don Clendenon is next. Three and one. And that's it to center for a base hit. All the way to the fence. That's going to be a tie game. All right, so double for Clendenon. I all nodded at two. Bob Bailey is next. One and two. Struck out swinging. We still have a tie game here in Montreal. Top of the fourth and coming. Two to the score. Dick Allen leads up for the Phillies. Full count. Grounds it to third. And that's a good throw by Wicker for out number one. Mike Anderson is next. Three and one to count. And he walks. One out walk for the Phillies. And now Johnny Caddison is going to be the batter. Oh, crap. Jaster is pretty much done. 1 and 0. Oh. The runner goes. And he's thrown out for out number 2. Full count to Caddison. And he walks. I hate to say it, but that might be uh, the last inning for Jaster here. Don Money the batter now, runner on first two outs, full count to him as well, grounds it to third, Wicker sends it to first for out number three. Yeah, Jasser is completely gassed, man. Ugh. I hate that a lot of my starters don't have great stamina, well, two of my five starters don't have great stamina. Right, Floyd Wicker is going to be the next batter, one and two. Grounds it to second. And that's an error, so Wicker is safe. John Bateman now, runner on first, nobody out. 0 and 2. 
and he struck out the king. That brings up Bobby Wine. Full count. And he walks. Alright. Man, what do I do? I can't really pitch Jaster anymore, but I'd like for him to pitch five innings. He just can't go anymore. He's completely gassed at 74 pitches because he started tired. He's probably gonna bunt. I'm gonna leave him there. I'm not gonna burn a pinch hitter already in the fourth inning. Oh, and one. Oh no, he swung. All right, well, that's a uh, pot at second base and cut by Roas for out number two. So now Herrera the batter, two on two outs, full count, and he walks. Yeah, Fryman is uh, getting there too. I run Bran with the bases loaded and two outs. No count. Ugh. He pops it to second base. Ross is there. And he catches it for out number three. Expose load up the bases but can't come around to score. Probably gonna come back to hurt me. Shit. Let's try. No count to Roas. We're gonna try to keep Jasser on the mound. That's it to right for a base. Okay, maybe I shouldn't do that. We're gonna pitch to one more batter, and if he gets on base, that's it. Jim Hutto is next. Runner on first, nobody out. One and oh. And that's it to short. And we get only the runner out at second base on the fielder's choice. So now there's a runner on first and one out for Woody Fryman. 1 and 0. And he bunts. And he's thrown out at first for out number 2. Runner in scoring position now, but with 2 outs for Tony Taylor. No count. Rounds up to first. Bailey takes it, and that's going to be out number 3. All right, I, I got 5 innings. That's what I wanted. Jasser did what uh, he had to do. Rusty Stubb now facing up against Woody Fryman. 1 and 0. And that's it to left, and that's gonna be out of here. A solo blast by Rusty Stubb opposite field. 401 feet, and it's a 3 2 lead for the Expos. Don Clendenin is next, no count. And that's it to right for a base hit. It's a runner on first and nobody out for Bob Bailey. Full count. Rounds it to short. Money goes to second base and that's going to be a fielder's choice. The runner is safe at first. Ooh, Clendenin is hurt. Are we going to have a call up or something? Whoa. It's a red cross. He can't play. Oh boy. My GM might have to do something. He's going to be so pissed. That's the first time of the year that he's going to have to work. Floyd Wicker facing off against Fryman. Runner on first. One out. 0-1. Oh and, and he bunts. And that's a good sacrifice. It. So runner at second base but with two outs now. And they bring Gary Wagner in relief, and John Bateman is gonna welcome him to the plate. Three and one. Rounds it to third. That's a good throw, and that's out number three. All right. Expos take the lead. It's three two, but Don Clendon and his art. I guess I'm gonna bring Mac Jones. He's on a tier. Oh, yeah, I have to uh, I have to change my pitcher. I'm not going to do a double switch unless I want to bring Buck Abella in. It's too early for that stuff anyway. So we're going to bring in Awi Reed and see how, how far he can pitch me. 3 to lead. Darren Johnson, the batter. 2-2 two two to count.
and he struck out swinging. The cannon is next, full count, and he walks. Mike Anderson now, one and two, struck out swinging. Johnny Caddison, no count, grounds it to second. Brian with the throw, that's out number three. All right, so Bobby Wine leads off the bottom of the six. We still have that one run lead, two and one. Rounds it to second, and he's thrown out at first for out number one. Uh, we read Will Bat. No count to him. And that's popped foul, and that's cut by Adam right by. Right by the fans there. Two outs, Jose Herrera is next. 0 and 2. And that's it to left. And that's a base hit. Falls in front of Darren Johnson. So we have a two out base hit. And now Ron Brand is going to be the batter. 2 and 2. Rounds it to short. That's going to be out number 3. All right, top of the seventh, Don Money is the batter. One and two. Struck out swinging. Greg Luzinski comes in as a pinch hitter. They always bring him as a pinch hitter. Who's batting seventh? Oh, it's Cookie Rojas. Two and two. Struck out swinging. Now Jim Hutto is the batter with two outs, 0 and 2. That's it weekly to center. Herrera barely moves and he catches it for out number three. All right, bottom of the seventh. We still have that one run lead. I'd like to add to that. Uh, Rusty Stubb is the batter. 3 and 0. Oh. And he walks on four pitches. Lead off and walk. Those can be dangerous. Mac Jones, who uh, came in to re replace the injured Clendenin, two and one. Rounds it to short and he hits in a double play. That's okay, he had one egg of a first game of the double header with six RBIs and two home runs. Bob Bailey with two outs, two and two. And that's going to be a, what a catch by money. And that's that. All right. Uh, top of the eight, Johnny Briggs comes in as a pinch hitter. Uh, we're going to keep Ali Reed. He's pitching pretty well. Three and Oto, the count on Briggs. And he walks on four pitches. Tony Taylor is next. 0 and 1. Grounds it to second. And he's thrown out at first for out number one. The runner makes it to second base on the play. So the tying run is in scoring position for Darren Johnson. Two and one. And that's it to center. That's cut there by Herrera for out number two. All right, Dick Allen is next. Two and two. Uh, two and oh, sorry. That's a base hit to center that might score the tying run here. Yeah, especially since Herrera is kind of... No, they didn't send him. Okay. Runners on first and third. Two outs for Mike Anderson. One and two. That's it to right. Stubb is there. Out number three. All right, we still have a 3-2 lead. Floyd Wicker faces off against John Boozer, who pitched in the previous game. So he's pitching in two games in the same day. No count. That's it to left. All the way to the track is Darren Johnson. He catches it for out number one. John Bateman is next. One and two. Grounds it to short. 
each row is in out at first for out number two. Bobby Wine now, no count. And that's it to right, and that's gonna be a base hit for Bobby Wine. So I think I might try to have Dan McGinn come in to get the save. Uh, Howie Reed gave me a lot of uh, good results today. Or do I want for him to just close out the game? How tired are you? Not where I'm gonna see it. Here I might see it though. You're in yellow. I'm gonna keep him in the game. He's gonna try and finish off the game. The right call was probably to use a pinch hitter because I needed the run, to be honest, but we'll, uh, we'll just ignore that. All right, so he pops out, and now he's gonna try and finish the game. Uh, Johnny Cadison leading off the ninth. We're still up by one run, one and oh. Rounds it to second, Brand with the throw, and that's an error. Runner on first, nobody out for dumb money. No count. And that's lined to third, and oh, <laughs> we doubled out. Callison at first base, so that's a double play. What a defensive play by Floyd Wicker. Terry Harmon comes in now. Came in as a defensive sub, and there's two outs in the top of the ninth. Full count. Rounds it to short. Bobby Wine with the throw, and just like that, we sweep the four game series against the Phillies. With a 3 2 win. The other, the other wins were a little bit more uh, convincing, but it is still a 3 2 victory for the Expos. So Howie Reed with the save, he pitched the last four innings of this game, pitched really well. And Don Clendenon with a pending diagnosis. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and advance today. Dave Allsworth has announced that they set their team focus from neutral to rebuilding. Is it my owner? Yes, it is. I have to look that up. All right, Lizard, okay, the Cubs, four game series. It's always four game series anymore. Mincher of Seattle, crown best player. So, Don Mincher of the Seattle Pilots is the player of the week. And Rusty Stubb in the National League is the player of the week. Look at that. Batted for 520 this week. He was unstoppable. Oh, Steve Braun also was the player of the of the week in the minors. Uh, he's one of my top prospects. One of the very few moves that my DM actually made. He signed this guy. All right, so don't really care for that. Um, don't really care for that. And then the expos. Oh, we climbed to 14th in the power rankings. West Palm Beach is still first. And then, yeah, the GCL Expos are first as well. Oh, look at that. Now, Don Clendenon's diagnosis is still pending, so we don't know what's going to happen. We might get a, a recall soon. Uh, I don't know. Oh, oh, something else happened here. Look at that. Uh, Marv Staley was put on injured reserve for the minors, and then Steven Wagner was promoted to replace him. Wow, my GM has some work to do. Oh, yeah, I wanted to check with... Uh... Oh, yeah, that's, uh, that's my owner, so... So he changed his goal to um, a rebuilding. Probably should uh, change his expectation then. A 
achieve a winning record for our first year as an expansion team. That owner is a... Uh, you're a little cray cray. You are a little cray cray, but you're not as bad as my owner in my fictional league. Like, the guy will accept nothing short of getting promoted. And uh, we only have one promotion spot. All right, we're going to go ahead and save the game. And that's going to be it for me tonight. So... As usual, I do want to thank you for tuning in, uh, but it is ARG out, so peace out, folks, and I'll see you all next time.